Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to go over how to get through the cliff bottom catacombs in Elden Ring. So hopefully you don't die like I just did. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, let's get started. Alright, now I'm not going to fight every single enemy in here. You might want to, that's on you. Either way, you do you. First up, obviously you're going down there. Alright, once you're down here, you're going to end up going this way. Again, I recommend running. Cause these things are so annoying to fight. There's the boss door. We're not going down in there. Not yet anyways. Follow this path around. Don't stop. There's no point in stopping because these guys are just going to wreck you. Once you get down, take a quick left where that sign is. That's where we're dropping down. Be careful not to drop down too far because if you aggro that guy, he will follow you. That's the guy who killed me in the beginning. Go through here. There will be a trap, so be ready. It's right there on the floor where the blood stain is. Pew, pew. This guy's at half HP, so you might as well just use the trap to kill him. I tried to use the trap. Like, I tried to have them walk on the trap, and it didn't seem to trigger. I don't know if he did, but the other guy did not. So be careful of that. Anyways, after he's dead, head this way. There's probably some items in here, like an ash, I think. So make sure you grab that. No, wait, the ash is up here. Never mind, never mind. There's two ashes, one from the boss, and then one you get uh, right up here. All right, so the ash is actually right there, but don't don't go after it yet. Let's just be smart about this. Go hit the switch first. Once you hit the switch and activate the door, which is at the end of that other hallway, the boss door is open. You can die at this point, and you don't got to worry about it. Or if you're a faith user like me and you just want to do that, you can just like spam your flame of madness or whatever, and you can scrap with them. Anyways, if you choose to fight him, great. Hit the switch, grab any of the loot you see, drop right down. Again, we've left enemies, so we're not going to bother. Like, honestly, you should probably take a right and go up to the uh, the health thing, the, uh, the bonfire, and heal. Or a left, I should say. Right is to the boss. I'm confident at this point I'm going to beat the boss, so I don't really care. Because I have enough of my stuff. But if you're low, then go heal yourself up at the bonfire. I hate these things. All right. I, I can't really give you a good strategy for this because I'm a faith user. If you're a faith user, spam Flame of Frenzy while your ghost attacks. That's my strategy for pretty much everything. Look at this damage. It's insane. If you're a melee user... Oh, this one knows magic too. Yeah, good luck is by my advice. Lots of dodge rolls. I don't recommend blocking against this guy because he can spit fire. Or at least the other one could. And fire will just go right through your shield. When you eventually beat him, though, you will be rewarded with the cell sword ashes, and the dungeon will be complete. So you get two ashes there, and there's a couple of little um, flowers for upgrades and things like that. But outside of that, there's not much here. So anyways, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw and got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators. This is why you should do faith, by the way.